Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video. Um, and we're covering it, yes. Um, Unai Emery has been sacked by Arsenal Football Club. That is, Unai Emery um, has officially been sacked by Arsenal Football Club um, after well, basically a seven winless run, um, but also 25 well, consecutive games of pure drivel, um, as, as a lot of Arsenal fans, including my brother, will, will attest to. So he's officially gone. Um, now, why am I covering it? Well, before I go into it, um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at We Are United X, um, and take a look at our links in the description of Discord community on a Red Devil Studio live podcast, which we'll be doing this coming Monday. We'll be discussing this. Um, so, obviously, a bit of background here. Arsenal, Arsenal yesterday actually lost to Eintracht Frankfurt two one at home. It was clear. That the players, I mean, I didn't watch the game per se, but I mean, it's been clear for a while that the players have not really been playing for him. He's obviously had difficulty, I mean, I'm really like acclimatizing to um, the UK. Um, I, I would argue that he's unfortunately wrongly been taking the mick out regarding like his accent and how he's been in the club. I think that's wrong, but Arsenal fans, there you go. Um, you know, the old incident with Jacker. You know, the dressing room has been so many things, you know, um, that have been going on. And obviously it's led up to the build-up of Unai Emery being sacked um, by the Arsenal board. Um, now, the reason why I discussed on this channel is, is twofold. Um, I think, one, it's the issue of just the nature of general sacking. Um, uh, and two, how this relates to Manchester United. So I think the first thing, quite thing quickly I'll just talk about, it's not going to be a long video. But the first thing I'll talk about is just the idea that... Um, well, what is next for Arsenal Football Club and the idea of this sacking? Because um, I guess, yes, potentially, there will be a bit of a buzz. Um, depending on how toxic the environment was, there might be a bit of a buzz. You know, they'll, they'll go to Norwich and, and play well, etc. Um, but again, I guess the question has to be asked about players who are, who are paid millions of pounds to basically kick a ball for 90 minutes, um, just switch off or don't play and suddenly play. Um, for, personally, for me, it's quite disrespectful um, to the fans who don't own as much um, and to the badge of people that you represent. Um, but the other thing as well is that, you know, does this actually resolve a lot of these internal problems? Because, you know, we can't ignore the toxicity that happened with Xhaka, um, this year obviously with Torreira as well. The fact that there are players um, who are wanting to leave the club, Bangham included, and this is not not related to Emery, you know, so in case of Aubameyang, it was the issue of the media, I think, and his relations with, I think, the troops, um, and obviously with Jacker and a few other players, it's relation with the fans. So I think that, I'm not saying that Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal um, performed one pick up, but I think people need to realise that it, this goes beyond just one man, one manager, and I think if people think that Arsenal suddenly going to be amazing after the sacking, they've got nothing coming. The other thing from what where Arsenal go is is um, the next manager. You know now I know a lot of people are signalling um, Allegri for it. Um, you know, you know, and again this sort of arrogance that some Arsenal fans have, um, Arsenal fans have where you know get Allegri, you know get Pochettino. I mean you know calm down a minute. How do you know that those managers actually want to come to you? You know how do you know that Allegri? How do you know that Pochettino? Um, how do you know that these top managers actually want to come to you? How do you know? You know, Alleg and, and for starters, Allegri, as far as I'm aware, is English is, isn't that great. So you can criticise um, uh, Emery for his poor English. And then Alleg you want Allegri to come in, who owners only really want a domestic title um, with Juventus, well, to, which, as we've seen, is not overwhelmingly difficult. Um Yes, he got to a Champions League final, so but his football and his defensive style is not really that great. Um, all I'm just saying is that, you know, are we again, is Arsenal again making the mistake where they go for a manager based on um, credentials as opposed to a manager that will actually fit with the philosophies of Arsenal Football Club? Um, but like I said, that's also just dependent on whether, you know, Arsenal um, are even in for those players because... The fans think they're a big club, but do managers, do top managers think they're a big club? If I was Arsenal, to be honest, um, if they could, I would go for Brendan Rodgers, but I don't think you'd be able to get him from Leicester. So I think the next best thing would be to get someone who can stabilise the ship for some time, and that's like a Rafa Benitez, who you know will help Arsenal to defend 
and play well. So that's who I think and I suggest that they get. Um, now anyway, how this relates to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer um, or Manchester United in general is the idea that, you know, United's performances have, I mean, we lost, we also lost, I bet we, we rotated and played nine or, ten, nine or ten different players. It was away from home. It was minus 15. Um, so no one's really looking at that as a sackable loss. If we our first team were there and lost it, then, you know, but we'd have already qualified quite convincingly. So, But our results are not too dissimilar, frankly, from um, um, Arsenal's. The only difference right now, to be honest, is the fact that Oli obviously is a legend with the club and he's been given time. But also because it's clear that the players, you know, we're not playing well. The players seem to still be playing for Oli. If the players weren't playing for Oli, they wouldn't have want, they wouldn't have come back free free against Sheffield United, um, or that wanted to, you know, even though we're playing poorly. And I think a lot of it has more to do with our lack of fitness, as we can see by the game yesterday, than actually the players don't want to play for, for Oli, you know. Um, but you know, still, you could argue it's still it's, you know. I think that, you know, the pressure again is, is on Oli because if we lose to Villa, um, we have obviously Chelsea and Spurs, or Spurs and then City, you know, coming up after that. Um, we need to pick up points and we don't have a strong, I would say a strong, necessarily even a strong enough Europa League team. Um, so the pressure is on Oli and Pochettino has been sacked already. He, he was a good servant to, to, to Spurs, but he's been sacked. And now Emery um, has also been sacked as well, you know, and you're left, so the likes of Solskjaer and even Silver Everton and possibly Pellegrini, but I suppose talking about Solskjaer here, you know, under massive, massive pressure. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, I imagine that the, that the Glazers will give him at least till the beginning of January, um, especially if results come up to probably towards the end of the season. But the pressure is mounting on Solskjaer now, um, and he's and he's got to rise up to it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we United X. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, what is next for Arsenal? Who do you think they should get? And uh, more importantly, what does this mean for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.